this is B Reeves from FYI Success Solutions Team. And today I'd like to talk to you about is internet marketing a pyramid? And what is it? What do you need? And how can you start? But first, let me tell you something, a little bit of something about myself. My husband and I, we were in the 1990s, this is back in the early 90s, when we both um, had lost our jobs. I had a small business that was doing well. We lived in Delaware, and we lost three homes. We had the home we were living in, and we had bought two other homes for to rent out. And we lost all those. We went through a bankruptcy. Well, fast forward a few more years later, we came back to Michigan, um, and we had to live with our in-laws because we had no money, no job, and no homes. So we had to go out and find jobs while we were living with the in-laws and with my in-laws. Then we built ourselves up and finally found a full-time job, both of us in the middle management uh, positions. Then in 2000, we bought a home. And then in 2003, we bought two homes, went, did the same thing we were doing before, renting out real estate or renting out rooms, and we were in the real estate. So 2007 came along and we realized that the economy was going to get bad, bad again. That's when the 2008 crash happened. And so we saw it coming because we learned from our previous years. Um, because back in the early 90s, that's what happened then. And so we, we sold our rentals in, in 2007 before the crash happened. So we, we learned a lot from that. Fast forward again, in 2012, and we were working long hours, mind you, 10, 12 hours a day, come home, tired, have dinner. By the time we got home, you know, we had maybe an hour or so to relax, and then we just did it all over again. And I've always wanted to have a small business of my own, which I had back in Delaware. I never, I, I kind of like stopped that dream. Then in 2012, we're on our way to work, and both of us were driving to work in the same car, and a big green van fell on top of us or flipped over on us. Freaky accident. We both broke our necks. It took us about a year and a half to get back together. And 95% we still have our problems, but we're moving forward, we're moving on. We have a new dreams that we can move forward for the rest of our lives. And this is where I decided to go back online and, and get in business online. So I've been doing this for about three years, and I had dabbled in it before our accident and before uh, while we were doing our 10-hour, 12-hour day uh, work, work job. Now I've learned a lot about online marketing. That's a little story for you that it can be done, and here I'm here to help you with a new plan or concept that I have. So. What is internet marketing? Okay, internet marketing is very similar to corporate, a corporate uh, triangle or pyramid. Okay, you have the CEO at the top, you have the president, and you have the management and their workers. So it's the same thing in internet marketing. You have the CEO who owns the business model or the business, maybe a product, you know, and it is a company, just like it is over here in the corporate world. Again, I've worked in the corporate world for quite a few years, 20 some odd years. And then you have the partners. You have partners that are licensed to uh, promote or sell those products that the company is providing them. And then you have the affiliates that are under the partners who are referring those products or that service to the of the companies and it's basically the same now yes there are pyramids out there this these are not pyramids these are corporate companies okay so what is internet marketing it's a way to leverage your business and your you have low profits 
low risk and high profits. So it provides you with a low investment, excuse me, I think I said profits, low investment, high profits, low risk. And that's the neat thing about being in internet marketing and having a business online. Now, back in little stats here, back in 2006, there were 6 billion people on the earth, on, in the world. And out of those 6 billion, 6% 6 were online doing business. Then in 2010, there were 7 billion people and 23% were online doing business. And they estimate, and this is stats, they estimate that 2020, 7.8 billion people in the world will be in the world and out of those people, 68% will be online. So you can see the direction of where business is going today. Now, what do you need? You need only three things. Laptop, phone, and a passion, a passion or an idea or a product or a service in order to get online. But I'm going to show you a concept that you don't have to have those things. So go ahead and go to that http colon forward slash forward slash b-terryreeves.com forward slash tlc and learn the first step into succeeding online and that's before you even get started and don't lose the dreams and the lifestyle that you want.